new videos every day. So I've done a couple videos talking about the importance of eating whole foods and trying to eliminate processed foods from our diets, but I know it can still be really confusing actually telling the difference between those foods. Um, some of you have left comments or sent us emails asking, you know, I still can't always tell the difference. Um, do you have a list or can you give us some guidelines? So that's what this video is for. We're dedicated to um, helping make really clear the differences between whole and processed foods. So processed foods usually come out of a box. Sometimes they might be wrapped in plastic and then put in a box. Uh, they come out of a vending machine or other boxes. But whole foods um, usually come in a peel. They usually come from the dirt. So processed foods usually have a really lengthy ingredient list. Um, you'll turn the box over and suddenly there's just tons of words that you can't even pronounce. Um, whole lots of things in that list of ingredients. Um, a lot of them that you probably can't even imagine what they are or where they came from. Um, whole foods, on the other hand, usually don't have an ingredient list at all. Uh, they're just one food, so we don't see an ingredient list on an apple or on an orange or on uh, a head of cabbage or something like that. Um, so a really long ingredient list is usually an indicator that you are about to eat a processed food. Processed foods usually have huge advertising budgets. Um, whether it's commercials on TV or big billboards or um, jingles, different things, um, usually those uh, advertisements are going to be for processed foods. Um, I've never seen a commercial for a carrot, never seen a commercial for spinach. Um, there just aren't huge industries behind Whole Foods um, that are advertising for them. So it, sad as it is, the things that we usually are seeing a lot of advertisements for or that there's a lot of you know, um, ads in magazines or, uh, for, those are usually going to be processed partial foods. So usually when you buy processed foods, um, they're either purchased um, in a box or a can, uh, in a pre-made meal or a frozen dinner, they come in a bag, they're frozen, things like that. Um, but whole foods are more often than not actually sold by the pound. Um, so if you're buying something that isn't sold by the pound um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a whole food, uh, but more often than not, it's a pretty good rule of thumb that if you're buying it by the pound, it is a whole food. Processed foods usually have a really long shelf life. So we think about Twinkies uh, kind of notoriously for having a, a shelf life of forever or maybe just a really long shelf life. Um, if something is going to last on your shelf for a really long period of time, that's a really good indicator that it's not a whole natural food. Um, as any of us know, um, most normal foods like oranges and apples, things like this, actually disintegrate over time. They're going to start rotting, they're going to go bad. Um, so foods that have a really long shelf life or that may have traveled um, really long distances uh, you know, getting to the store before you eat them. It's a really good indicator that that's a processed food. Um, whereas a food that has a pretty short shelf life or that goes bad quickly, um, usually those are whole natural foods. Processed foods are usually found in the center part of the grocery store. Um, so all of the aisles and aisles of chips and crackers and cookies, um, cooking mixes, you know, cake mixes, um, or other things like that. Um, generally, those are processed foods. Um, generally, on the outsides of the supermarket um, is where you're gonna find the whole foods. So that's the deli aisle, um, or the deli section with a lot of natural meats. Uh, that's the produce section, all of our fruits and vegetables. So uh, a pretty good rule of thumb when you are going into the grocery store is just kind of stay on the periphery of the store. So not only are you saving yourself time of not trekking up and down the aisles, but you're also having going to have a lot better chances that you're purchasing whole foods and staying away from processed foods. Another good way to distinguish a whole food from a processed food is to ask yourself, would a caveman have eaten this? If the food that you're about to purchase or about to eat is something that a caveman would have no idea what it is 
or some of those things in that really long ingredient list or something that a caveman would have no idea what those are, that's a really good indicator that it's a processed food. Um, whole foods have been around for centuries. It's the same foods that were being eaten by our ancestors long, long ago. Um, but processed foods have only been around for a short while. So after um, industrialization, all of these new factories coming in and everything, then we suddenly had this huge outpouring of foods that were coming out of factories rather than coming out of the ground. So if it's a food that hasn't been around very long or with a lot of chemicals that you know, if you don't know what it is, your body's not going to know how to deal with it. Um, if it's something that somebody two million years ago would have had no idea what it was and probably wouldn't have eaten, you probably shouldn't be eating it either. Processed foods often will have um, nutritional information on the back and may even make nutritional claims on the packaging. So a lot of times food manufacturers will actually put on the package um, you know, diet or low fat, sugar free, no preservatives, um, things like this, trying to get you to buy them, trying to get you to, to believe that they really are healthy foods. Um, but those are still processed foods and they're still not as healthy for you as the apple or as the orange, which doesn't have a nutritional label on the back. So the message is that whole foods don't have to make nutritional claims because they're just plain nutritious. Processed foods usually come in a perfectly square box or a perfectly round or cylindrical can. But whole foods come in all different shapes and sizes. They're gonna be have different funny shapes. You've got the pear shape, the banana shape, um, you name it really when it comes to the shapes that your food may come in. Um, but a good indicator of a processed food um, is that it's in a perfect shape, like a can or a box. Um, usually your whole food is gonna have a lot more variety to its color, shape, and size. Processed foods are often referred to as junk foods or fast foods um, because they contain very little nutrition, although they're also still high in sugar or high in fat. Um, and in this way, they promote weight gain, they can cause obesity, malnutrition, and in some cases, even disease. Whole foods are generally referred to as healthy foods. They have a lot of nutritional density, they're gonna give you energy, they're gonna make you feel good, they're gonna help your organs function at their absolute best, and in general, are gonna promote health and a longer lifespan. In a future video, I'm going to talk to you about weight loss and address that age old question. Do we really have to be counting our calories all the time? Do we always have to be hungry? Or is there a better way to lose weight and not be hungry all the time? And in another video, we're going to ask, is obesity genetic? As much as the food companies and the dieting industry would love for you to believe that obesity is just genetic and there's nothing you can do about it, uh, we're actually going to look at that question in more detail in a future video. I'm Karina. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that this information was useful to you. Um, if it was, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know if you have other questions, if there's something you'd like to know more about. Um, and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay tuned to all of our future videos where we'll be talking more about healthy foods and helping you gain control of your health. Thanks.